I'm fat. I'm clumsy. I, I grew up in a world with so much scarcity that it made me freaking selfish. I grew up in a world that, well, my mama used to say to me, if you get caught, that's bad, but if you lie about it, that's worse. And so I did terrible things and I became an amazing liar. And one day I looked back on it all and I loathed myself and it made me very, very angry. I took my hat off tonight to talk about that for a second because there are some things I want to say as an ambassador of all this and there are some things I don't want to be wearing that when I say. I'm going to put it back on and I'm going to tell you some things. All of those things used to be true. There was a point where I was so good at swallowing my anger with cheeseburgers that I was fat. I didn't juggle, I didn't dance, I didn't clown, I didn't do anything. And I wanted to be cool, so I held really still and I could pose, but I couldn't move. And it made me clumsy. <sighs> One day I got really sick of screaming mine, and I just let go of that. And I started just getting everything out of my head till there was nothing left that I had. And that left me with left me with the inability to kind of really be selfish about stuff because frankly there was nothing in there. It was empty and it was glorious. The vow of honesty was harder and I was very lucky to find out that I could be a storyteller and that saved me. But what got rid of the anger once I got all that out of the way was finding you guys and this place and the things we do here. I, it gets preachy every now and then when you say something like that but the truth of the matter is the reason some of us grab onto this microphone and shout as hard as we can about the things we are is because I'm going to let you in on a secret. In the back of my head is still a voice that says, you're fat, you're clumsy, you're selfish, you're lying, and you're fooling no one but yourself. You know what? I cracked from listening to that voice. I did. I snapped one day. And I pushed as hard as I could against it till that crack became a gap. And that cap became this massive, massive space. And I filled it with so many damn tears that it became a river. And I'm proud to say I crossed over it. It's like my own personal Rubicon. I have gone too far and I will not go back. As you are transforming, and I know so many people right now at this place in their lives, so many people are trying to be things, trying to become things, not things that they're not, but things that they're working on. Some of us have had some successes already. Congratulations, you are amazing and proof we can do it. And some of you are struggling. Know that all of us, every last one of us from end to end of this room has dealt with it at some point. And if you hear that voice inside your head, tell it to shut up, please. And if you hear it from outside of your head, well, one of two things. Either that's someone who knew you back when and you got to realize there's a gap or you need to tell them to shut up. You can make that noise. It's okay. I've scared you into silence. I've scared you into silence. An amazing thought for this particular room and I know why. Shout like mad if you know what I'm talking about. Welcome to the only place I've ever found where I can both be what I am and become anything I want. Welcome to the open stage. <laughs>